this is the BMW M5 competition and in the first 2000 kilometers your first maintenance will cost you just 700 euros so better clean up your hands and do it yourself The M5 competition comes lower, stiffer and more powerful than the regular M5, which is already a wolf in sheep's skin by its subtle design and monstrous performance. The new M5 competition comes with 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 with 625 horsepower and 750 Nm of torque. It is coupled to 8 speed ZF automatic transmission and for the first time ever it is coming with a four-wheel drive with detachable front axle which gives you the ability to switch to rear-wheel drive only anytime you want. This makes it best of both worlds. Not only it is great for skids and drifts but also for launching. Before we start this review and talk about any numbers I want to launch this car because BMW says it will do 0 to 100 km an hour in 3.1 seconds but will it do really? We would find out. To check I have my Racebox GPS device and we will do a launch control. To launch the M5 you have to press one of the M buttons, have the four wheel drive speed in sport, the DSC completely off, the gearbox in its sporty setting, firm on the brake, launch control active. from 0 to 100 and 11.06 on the quarter mile pretty pretty good results nice it is high performance car which doubles as a luxury and comfortable daily driver it doesn't come cheap though this current spec that we have here with the M drivers package will cost you 145,000 euro but considering what you get for it is worth every penny it's not as loud and as shouty as the Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG however this is exactly why it is great competition to this model because you get slightly more subtle, more refined and less, a little bit more quieter shape which will appeal to a lot more people in this price class. Let's hear how this V8 sounds. It is a 2019 production model with the OPF filter installed. Pretty good! Moving on to the rear, you get the little boot spoiler with the M5 competition badging underneath and the signature for the M family models quad exhaust with this really nice rear diffuser. On the side, you get these really nice flared arches which are housing for the lightweight and performance wheel together with that wider track which helps for that improved handling. This also helps with the stiffer lower suspension for more road stability. You also get some nice pieces like the M5 
trim on the side as well with the typical M mirror caps for this model which helps you differentiate a little bit from the lesser 5 series. The car does not only sound good but looks good also. You get these deep front bumpers together with the large air intakes and a standard on this M5 you get full adaptive LED headlamps. But if you can and I would recommend you, you can upgrade to these extremely well looking BMW laser lights. As you can see, the boot is quite practical to fit all your needs or that random guy that has destroyed your car and... The M5 gets the same really nice interior from the standard 5 series, but it gets more and better upgrades. For example, these M Sport seats, which are 20-way electric adjustable and especially in these two-tone conic interior, looks absolutely stunning. You have the bolsters that fit you snug and in general it is a really nice ambience here with the carbon fiber elements on the dash, the leather everywhere and the soft touch materials everywhere you look. Even the door bins are padded from the inside. You get M badging everywhere on the steering wheel, on the seat belts and the illuminated logos on the headrests. My favorite part about the interior are the M buttons. They're in red and they can configure the car exactly the way you like it. For example, I have configured my M1 button to be in the four wheel drive sport system with traction control and the N2 button with the two wheel drive rear wheel drive option with the traction control off they are easily accessible by double pressing on them and the car automatically switches to this mode another unique feature to the car is the central stack with the unique gearbox you can control the ferocity of the gear changes by pressing up and down on the buttons as well as configure your engine suspension and steering by the set of buttons down there which is very important so i can have the car exactly the way you want it and last but not least, it's very important that you can fit four full-size grown-up adults in this car. And believe me, if you have this car, you have to do it way more often than you think. Ta-da! Come on, Tenno, where are we going? To eat. <laughs> Get up there. Get up. One of the main advantages of the M5 competition is its diversity. It can be your big family saloon with everything dialed in its comfortable setting and your passengers wouldn't even know that they are sat in a sedan as fast as a supercar. But then, you double press M1, everything gets sharper, the throttle response gets sharper, the steering gets heavier, is now more precise and we have stiffen suspension the noise coming from the back is more and more powerful and you get inspired to drive on these really nice mountain roads the four wheel drive system is now more rear wheel drive bias and it really really feels like a proper M car to drive but with the added safety net of this four-wheel drive system to keep you safe in all sorts of weather. It is a big and luxury cruiser, but with the added bonus of that instant performance anytime you want it, so you can really feel like a proper king of the road. So fast, wow. It doesn't matter if you just go to do the grocery shopping, go out with your friends to show off in front of the club nearby or literally behave like a hooligan on a racetrack, it is a great machine and can do it all. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you like it please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon and special thanks to Competition, a very good friend of mine who provided me with his vehicle and let me completely destroy it for this 10 minute video. I'll see you next time.
Hi guys, sorry to come again in the video. Unfortunately, I did drive the car a little bit too harsh and now it's time for the second maintenance. So I'm not gonna ask you for money, but please, if you can just subscribe to the channel so we can get a little bit more views to fix that rather cheap, uh, sorry, expensive car.